Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Prego Expo. We are so glad you're here. I'm sorry we can't be with you in person in these times, these crazy times, but you all understand. I'm glad you are home and you're safe and we're here at the Regal Lager University where we're safe and we're going to give you all kinds of good information these next couple days at the Prego Expo. So what we want to do today is give you a little teaser and a couple of the booths that you can go by and see while you're visiting the Prego Expo. First and foremost, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeff Durkee. I'm the director of sales for Regal Lager. We are a distributor for five great brands. And if you've been hanging out here for a little while, you probably just heard Dave Milligan talking about decor and Nomi. And let me tell you, they just like in comedy, there's certain people you don't want to follow. Dave is the guy I don't want to follow. It's just a tough act to follow. I'm sure you enjoyed what he had to tell you and he gave you lots of good information. Second thing I want to say is congratulations to all of you. Your young parents, you're out there, you're expecting, or you've maybe just had a baby. It's awesome. We are so happy for you. And one of the things that we do at Regal Lager is we never forget that you are actually letting us be a part of your parenting journey. Um, and the products that we have are going to make your life easier and raising baby easier. And it's going to make it a lot of fun too. So first brand we're going to tell you about, we're going to tell you about two brands today. We're going to tell you about Love to Dream and Lascal. These are two of the booths that we want you to visit in addition to Decor and Nomi that Dave just told you about. Um, Love to Dream is an Australian swaddling company. They've been around for about 11 years. Uh, mom invented product, which when you have the product, you will see so many things. You'll be like, of course a mom invented this. These are so practical. They're amazing. But... Um, Love to Dream is all about swaddling, right? It's all about swaddling and safe sleep. Uh, and, you know, if you come visit the booth, I'm even going to test your knowledge of safe sleep, see what you know. Um, but it's really important, obviously, that we, we have our babies in a safe sleep environment. And one of the things that swaddling does is it can provide that. Um, but, you know, there's also a lot of, um, a lot of agita, a little bit of confusion about swaddling. And some people get nervous about it and the whole burrito wrap thing and all that. It's a great technique, but you know what? We're gonna give you one that's easier and it's gonna be a very safe sleeping alternative, okay? So that's one, one of the reasons we want you to come by. Love to Dream is also an incredibly hot selling product. I mean, you can go out there, you can read the reviews online, you will see thousands, literally thousands of reviews, very positive because it actually works. And, you know, there's a couple things you have to keep in mind when you're thinking about swaddling. Number one is this, ladies and gentlemen, is how babies sleep. And you'll see that in all those pictures, the baby's arms are up. They're not down at their sides. They're not across their chests. So why are we swaddling babies that way? Come to the Love to Dream booth and you will see why. Okay. This is not your mother's swaddle. It's really simple. It's fun. It's cute. You're going to have the best social posts ever, right? People love to see their babies sleeping with their arms up. We love sleeping babies to begin with, right? I mean, come on. Everybody loves a sleeping baby. Number one rule of baby rearing is don't wake a sleeping baby. So you're going to get your baby to sleep easily. As a matter of fact, what we hear from parents is that all they have to do is put them in the swaddle up and the babies go to sleep. So when you come to the booth, you'll learn why and what that's all about. We have lots of great fabric options. A little bit of what you're seeing behind me is just a small sampling of the different fabrics we have. If you're an organic person, you're going to love the organics. We have light versions if you're in a warmer climate. Of course, now in most of the country, it's starting to get cooler. You, you may want to warm. We've got warm products for you. So whatever your needs and wants are, we've got them for you at Love to Dream. So your baby is going to love being in it. Oh. I told you it's a great selling product. You can check this out. Is this upside down? Yes, it's upside down. There it is. That's it's better right side up. This is our sales. Love to dream since we started with them in 2015. It's crazy. And look how cute these babies are. Come on. I mean, looks a little like me. No, not really. Okay. Well, anyway, you're going to love it. So come by the Love to Dream booth and check it out. Learn all about swaddling. What else? Um, there are so many, so many options and so many things, but swaddling is so important to get your baby to calm down and to go to sleep. You're going to learn about the startle reflex. What's that? Well, that's really why we swaddle. You're going to learn that swaddling has been around literally for thousands of years. I mean, you've probably seen some pictures of uh, babies that are papoose swaddled, those 
old black and white pictures, that's not a good thing because you wanna protect the baby's hips. So you wanna make sure you have, when you're swaddling your baby, you've got a nice wide product in through the hips. Baby needs room to keep their legs in the right position so their hips are properly developed. Love to Dream Swaddle Ups are IHDI, or International Hip Dysplasia Institute, approved products, okay? So they're gonna provide a hip healthy environment for your baby, really important. Again, that papoose swaddling thing, where their legs come down to a point, that's not good. That will actually uh, pull their hips out of the sockets. Because remember, when babies are first born, they're just like little blobs of goo. They're not all fully developed. Their bones and cartilage, they're, they're not all developed. So you really wanna make sure that things like their hips have a good, uh, good place for their, for their legs to move so their development is proper. All right, what else do we wanna tell you about Love to Dream? There's so much I could tell you, but I want you to come to the booth to see it. Um, Anyway, it's all about sleep. How am I doing on time? I'm getting close on time. So I'm going to be telling you about another brand uh, in, in just a couple minutes. So let's, let's, let's look at something really special here. This is your little teaser, okay? This is our rainbow swaddle. And some of you out there probably know what a rainbow baby is, but this is our rainbow swaddle. And this is for the, the parents out there that are having their rainbow babies. And um, Love to Dream Regal Lager, we are going to be donating $5 from the sale of every rainbow swaddle to First Candle. And First Candle used to be called the SIDS Alliance, and they are dedicated to safe sleep, safe sleep education, getting those babies to their first birthday. That's why it's called First Candle. It's a great organization, and it's one that Regal Lager has always uh, adamantly supported for years and years and years. And $5 from the purchase of every rainbow swaddle is going to go towards first candle. So, all right, I am going to wrap up Love to Dream with one more thing, and then we're going to swing over to the other side of the Lascaux, the, uh, excuse me, of the Regal Lager University to talk to you a little bit about Lascaux. But, you know, at Regal Lager, we take our products very seriously. You know, we don't, we don't take on new brands very often. And when we do, we want to make sure it's going to be a good quality brand that's gonna make you parents really happy. So just like, for example, with Love to Dream, you know, we don't just talk about these products, we test them ourselves. So if you check out over here, you can see Giancarlo and Lauren, they're getting really sleepy, you know, they're in their swaddle ups. It's, you know, I don't know where you are, but we're in the Eastern time zone. It's quarter, almost quarter of three, it's nap time. These guys are ready for their nap now, right? I mean, come on. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for Love to Dream. Make sure you come by the Love to Dream booth. Now we're going to just swing around to the other side of the university, and we're going to tell you a little bit about Lascaux. Oh, gosh, they're already asleep over there. Shh, everybody be quiet. I shouldn't be talking so loud, but I'm going to. All right, so Lascaux is a Swedish-designed product company. Uh, the, the man behind Lascaux is a Swede. And if there's one thing you know about Swedish products is that they are very efficient. There's not lots of fluff and frills in them. In other words, they don't have a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Um, you know, you think about Scandinavian products. I mean, Dave talked to you about the Nomi. It's got all these amazing features and benefits. And every single one of them is incredibly important. Well, that's what the Lascal product uh, range is like. They're all extremely good products. Uh, they all do what they say they're going to do, and there's just not a lot of fluff. I mean, come on, think about it. You know, we solve problems at Regal Lager. Our brand solve problems. IKEA has made a big business out of doing that, right? So we do the same thing, a little different caliber of products here, all kinds of good stuff. With Lascaux, we'll be telling you about two products. We're going to be telling you about the M1 carrier, and we're going to be telling you about the buggy board. And the buggy boards are nice because that's a great product for you second time parents, okay? So there's some of you out there that have your second child or maybe your third or fourth and you're tuning into the Prego Expo and you want something good for you? Well, the buggy board is gonna be it as well as the M1. But you know, with, um, with, with the M1 carrier, when, when Lascal first designed the M1 carrier or was thinking about designing it, they came to us because 
none of you probably know this, but Regal Auger actually 30 years ago when we started in the baby industry, we started with a major carrier brand and we worked with that brand for about 15 years, built it up. It's a very big name brand now. So we have some great carrier knowledge in our history. So when Lascal was thinking about developing a carrier, they came to us and said, would you guys be interested in helping me design it? And we said, heck yeah. So that's what the M1 carrier is. Now there's lots of carriers on the market. If you parents have been doing your research, you know this. Your head may be spinning with all the carriers you see. That's, they're, they're great carriers and you make the personal decision of which one you want to use. You know, there's, there's kind of two major categories of carriers. There's sort of the soft fabric carriers that are more like a piece of care, uh, fabric rather that you change the positions by how you wear it and how you tie it around your body and how you're putting the baby in it. And then there are structured carriers. Well, the M1 is what we call a structured carrier. In other words, it has fixed uh, roles or positions, if you will, fixed things that it does uh, while it's on you, uh, as opposed to a fabric, a soft fabric carrier. But again, it's your choice. It's a personal choice. You do what you're comfortable with. A lot of parents will have both. Some start with a soft fabric carrier when the baby's a newborn and then move to a more structured carrier after a few weeks. Um, but carriers are great. Baby wearing in general is amazing. As a matter of fact, one of the studies I read said it is the most effective kind of rhythmic motion to calm your baby. People use baby carriers for like when it's time for vaccinations and the baby gets upset, put them in a baby carrier. Because remember, when you're wearing your child, they're going to be able to feel your body heat, they're going to feel your heartbeat, they can smell you, and it's all very familiar and comforting to them. So baby wearing is amazing, so I highly recommend it. It's a great way for you to bond with your baby, particularly dads. You know, moms tend to get a lot more time with the baby, especially if they're nursing. And I know when my kids were little, the best way for me to bond with my kids was to wear them. So I used to wear them around all the time. And remember, baby carriers are not just for when you go out. When you're in the home, you need your hands free. You want a good carrier that's going to make that baby feel nice and secure on your body so you're not worrying about, you know, is the, is the baby going to fall or are they not positioned right? So, you know, you want a carrier that's going to do that. The M1 carrier is going to do that. It's going to put that baby nice and high on your body, nice and snug. You're going to feel secure. They're going to feel secure. And they're going to have a nice little rest on you. Okay, so that's all about baby wearing. Uh, also great for socialization because when your baby gets a little older and you can wear them facing forward like this, they love that because now the baby's right up at our height, right? So if I'm having a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and I'm wearing my baby facing forward, they're right in the middle of that conversation and they love it. Their eyes almost always light up in that position. But you just have to wait and make sure the baby has really good neck control and strength before you put them forward facing. Because remember, on a, on a newborn baby, their head's a big old melon. It's a big part of their body, as opposed to us when we're adults and it's a much smaller portion of our body. So their, their, their head is really heavy. So we just have to make sure that they're ready to be forward facing, which is somewhere around six to eight months. By the, by the way, the M1 carrier will hold babies from eight to 33 pounds, okay? So that's your weight range. So, you know, when we developed the M1 carrier, there were a couple things we wanted to really focus on. And as I said, Scandinavian design, so really, let's keep it simple. So it's the comfort for you as the wearer, the comfort for the baby, which also means putting them in the proper position, and then the ease of use. And the M1 has all of that. This is an IHDI approved carrier, which again, we talked about it with Love to Dream. It's all about the baby's hips, keeping their hips in the proper position. And in a baby carrier, you want them sitting in the carrier. You don't want their legs hanging straight down. That puts undue force on their hips. So the M1 is going to put the baby in that great M seating position. Here's your first learning. I'll give you a sneak peek into the booth. The M seating position is right here. It's shown. And it's basically where the baby's butt drops down a little bit. Their thighs are supported. And that keeps their hips in a good position. And it actually looks a little bit like an M. That's why they call it the M seating position. Okay, so lots of good stuff uh, for the M1 carrier. You're gonna love it. Come check it out. It's got super comfortable fabrics. It's very easy to use. It's gonna look neat and stylish on you because let's face it, if you are going out, 
you're showing off your baby. So you want your carrier to look nice on you as well as be comfortable for you and put the baby in, a, in the proper position. So now the other product that we want to talk to you a little bit about is the buggy board from Lascaux. We'll just swing over here a little bit. The buggy board, and Lascaux was the inventor of this product in Sweden way back in like 1998, I think, a long time ago. Um, and basically the idea with this, again, and this is where you, you second time and more parents are, are gonna like this product, because when you're having your second child come along, you need some place in your stroller to put, you know, it's like, now what do I do? I got two kids, one on the way, one I've already got, what am I gonna do with my stroller? Well, your choices are you can buy a big old honking stroller, a double stroller, a side-by-side, -side, a two kid solution, those are all options, or, you can get a buggy board. The buggy board just attaches to the back of the stroller with a universal connector that kind of works like a, a zip tie, a cable tie, where it wraps around the frame, pulls back through the connector, you crank them on nice and secure, and then you can attach the buggy board to it. So now your first child, your, your toddler, is going to ride on the back of the stroller, behind the stroller, on the buggy board, and your new baby rides in the stroller. So you can keep the stroller you love already and yet accommodate two children with it. And now most of you have more than one stroller. If, you're, if, you're, uh, if you already have a child, you probably have more than one stroller. Go ahead, you can put in the comments how many strollers do you have. We wanna see those crazy high numbers. Um, the average in North America is right around three strollers per family. Um, but we know that there's some of you that are really stroller people and you probably have a lot of them. Well, the nice thing is the buggy board is a universal product. So it's going to work on probably all of your strollers. We say it works on 95% of all the strollers that are out there. And there's a lot of strollers out there. And it's because of these universal connectors. And the nice thing is with that is whichever stroller you want to take out on a given day, you can just attach the buggy board to it and you're good to go. You'd buy a second set of connectors for the second stroller, and then you just pop the board on whichever stroller you're taking out, make a few adjustments if you need to, and you're good to go. So that's a really nice thing about the buggy board. Another thing that's nice about the buggy board is it's really tall. The platform is tall, so that when I'm walking behind it, my feet actually go under the board. If you, uh, if you use some, some, of the, some of the rider boards that are out on the market these days, they use really tiny wheels, like little skateboard wheels. And unfortunately, what happens is you end up kicking the board. So I've actually seen people pushing strollers with other boards down the street like this, and that's not comfortable. Plus, the, the buggy board has tremendous suspension, so it's going to be easy to push. It's going to give your child a great ride. It's a nice big platform with edges on it so they know where the sides are. And they just stand in here and they hold right onto the frame of the stroller and it's all good. And let me tell you, toddlers love that. My kids loved riding on the buggy board. And you're going to be like a rock star too because I remember when, when my kids were little and I'd push them around on the buggy board, every single stoplight you come to or a crosswalk and you'd have to stop people who'd be coming up to me asking, that is so cool. Where did you get that? What is that? Okay. The buggy board comes in three different sizes, our buggy board mini, our buggy board maxi, and then the only thing that would make it better is the maxi plus, where we actually have what we call the saddle on it. And that's a little seat that allows the child to sit if they get tired, or you can fold it down and they can stand again. If they get tired, pop it up and they can have a seat. But come to the Lascal booth, we'll give you a lot more information on both of these. We'll do some demos, you'll get to see me, Wearing a doll, I do it really well, I rock it. So come on by the Lascal booth and see it. Other than that, um, I wish you all very well. Thanks for being here at the Prego Expo. Have a great time over the next couple of days. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of really great speakers and sessions for you to be a part of. Visit our exhibitor booths. Uh, and again, hopefully next year we'll be in person where we can face to face and some of you will come up and say, I remember seeing you on the virtual Prego Expo. So that's all for now. So thanks from the Riga Lager University. Uh, have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of the expo.